Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about jar openers. Let's get into it. I am super proud of this accomplishment and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is the uh, additional bucket that I have completed the jar openers. And then these, these three containers here are completed jar openers. Let me grab the whole lot. I don't think I could even hold them all at one time. Here are the jar openers to have at the shows. And then here are the back stock. I'm so happy that they are all completed. They look so nice. Um, my walking foot that broke, I ended up replacing it with a brother branded walking foot. And oh my goodness, I did not realize what I was missing out on. It is so much better, so much quieter, more efficient. I knocked these out so much faster than the ones I had to do with the regular pressing foot the night before the show or the regular, yeah, the regular pressing foot the night before the show. I'm just amazed and I love that I've had I have this much stock these normally I have one container worth at a show maybe one and a half each row is about 50 so this is about 300 jar openers so I'm gonna put these guys in containers and just set them aside so when I need a restock later I can restock that being said I am not done with jar openers for the year I've had an epiphany, two of them, and I wanna share them with you guys. The first one being that um, I don't do very well online on Etsy. So how can I do better? I can do better by um, having a better listing. Having a better listing would mean less variation. So what I plan to do is make about, I don't know, 60 to 80 jar openers of one pattern and have them listed on my website. That one pattern will be the pattern that I bought in a bolt, the um, gray cat, pattern that is my most popular pattern. So I plan to make about 60 or 80 of those and just have that one pattern available on my Etsy site. Um, that way that there is something available, it's ready, it's ready to ship. I can put my shipping time down to like two or three days so that um, it increases, um, you know, awareness, likability, people are more likely to buy it. That's my thought. And then um, the other jar openers that I'm going to make. So I constantly have people at shows asking me if there's matching towels and jar openers, which I don't because the jar openers are made with quilting cotton and the towels are made with uh, cotton flannel. So there's not, I, I don't mix and match. However, I'm going to try, um, when I cut a strip of fabric to make jar openers, it makes three of them. So I'm going to cut two strips, which would be six jar openers. Um, there are 38 patterned cotton flannel fabrics, not including the solids, I'm not doing the solids, which would be 228 jar openers, about 11.4 rolls uh, or 12 rolls if you round it up. And then of the little bit at the top, that'll make um, uh, two, uh, 76, hmm, my words, 76 coasters or 19 sets. And I have been uh, collecting uh, shelf liner again since the uh, last big a jar opener challenge last month. Uh, just every time I go to the store, I get a couple. And when I did the math of this, and then I counted uh, how much shelf liner I have, how many rolls, I have 11 rolls, and then I have some that are already cut. So it's it's meant to be. I'm supposed to do this project. Um, I will need a couple more rolls to be able to do the ones for Etsy. Uh, but that is my goal. I'm going to do another like round of making jar openers. Not right the second. I'm definitely burnt out on jar openers. But that's my thought. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a lovely day.